In the heart of a small, forgotten town in the USA stood a grand old hotel named the Hawthorne Manor. It loomed over the landscape. Its walls whispered tales of forgotten guests and secrets hidden within its corridors. The man of our story, Jonathan, was a weary traveler who stumbled upon this mysterious hotel one stormy night. Seeking refuge from the elements, he stepped through its doors, unaware of the chilling history that clung to its walls. As he entered, the air grew icy, and a shiver ran down his spine. The dimly lit lobby seemed frozen in time, with faded wallpaper and creaking floorboards. The reception desk was manned by a pale, somber figure named Mr. Holloway, who greeted Jonathan with a ghostly smile. Welcome to the Hawthorne Manor, Mr. Holloway intoned, his voice sending shivers down Jonathan's spine. We've been expecting you. Unease settled in Jonathan's chest, but exhaustion won out over his growing fear. He accepted a rusty key and made his way up the grand staircase, the sound of his footsteps echoing eerily through the empty corridors. His room, number 333, was at the end of a long hallway, and as he entered, he noticed the flickering of the lights. Hours passed as the storm raged outside, the wind howling like a banshee. Jonathan lay in bed, unable to shake off the feeling that he was being watched. Just as he was about to drift into uneasy sleep, a cold gust of wind swept through the room, extinguishing the bedside lamp. Heart pounding, he fumbled for his phone and turned on its flashlight, revealing an empty room. But the sensation of being watched persisted, growing stronger with each passing moment. Suddenly, a low, mournful wail echoed through the room, a sound that sent terror coursing through his veins. He followed the sound to the window, and his breath caught in his throat. There, outside the rain-streaked glass, stood a translucent figure with hollow eyes, a ghostly woman in a tattered white dress. Frozen in terror, Jonathan watched as the ghostly figure mouthed words he couldn't hear. He stumbled back, his heart racing, and fumbled for his phone to call the front desk. But when he dialed, all he heard was static, no human voice, only the sound of whispered echoes. Desperation urged him to leave his room, to flee from whatever malevolent presence haunted the hotel. As he stepped into the hallway, he realized that the hotel had transformed. The walls seemed to bleed, and the flickering lights cast eerie shadows that danced like specters. Jonathan moved through the hotel, his footsteps muffled by the thick carpet. He could hear faint whispers, unintelligible words that seemed to rise from the very walls themselves. The air grew colder with each step, and he knew he was not alone. As he explored, he stumbled upon an old library tucked away in a forgotten corner of the hotel. Dusty books lined the shelves, their pages yellowed with age. In the center of the room, a grand piano stood, its keys seemingly moving on their own. Jonathan's breath caught in his throat as he watched the keys depress and release in a haunting melody. From the shadows emerged the ghostly figure of the woman he had seen before. She moved gracefully, her ethereal form swaying to the music. He could feel her sadness, her longing, as if her very essence was trapped within the confines of the hotel. Driven by a mix of fear and empathy, Jonathan reached out to her, his voice trembling as he whispered, Who are you? The ghostly woman turned her gaze toward him, her eyes filled with a mix of sorrow and gratitude. Her voice, like a distant echo, finally reached his ears. I am Isabella, she whispered, trapped within these walls for eternity, seeking solace that never comes. Isabella's story unfolded, the tragic tale of a young bride who had taken her own life on her wedding night, her heartbroken spirit forever bound to the Hawthorne Manor. Jonathan realized that he held the key to releasing her from her torment, the key to understanding her pain and helping her find peace. With newfound determination, Jonathan delved into the hotel's history, uncovering long-forgotten secrets and hidden truths. Armed with this knowledge, he confronted the malevolent presence that held Isabella captive and fought to break its grip on her soul.
The battle between light and darkness raged within the hotel's walls as Jonathan faced his own fears and the horrors of the past. In the end, with the storm still raging outside, he managed to release Isabella's spirit from its tortured existence. As she faded into the night, a sense of calm settled over the Hawthorne Manor, a calm that had eluded it for generations. With Isabella's release, the hotel began to transform. Its walls regained their vibrancy, its halls no longer echoed with haunting whispers. The air was free of the cold, oppressive grip of fear. Jonathan, forever changed by his experience, left the Hawthorne Manor behind, taking with him a story that he could never truly share with the world. And so, the once haunted hotel stood as a silent witness to the tale of a man who faced his deepest fears, a ghost who found redemption, and a bond that transcended the boundaries between the living and the dead.